Mercedes is seemingly back on top, even though they faced a tough destiny in Spa after the disqualification of Russell, who won the race. But even with this factor in mind, the Silver Arrows have quite a competitive car, one that Verstappen was unable to overtake and be near in terms of pure race pace performance compared to the last couple of years. With Spa being the fourth race that Verstappen hasn't won, and the second one in this span that he's finished in fifth, rumours have resurfaced about the potential collaboration between the Brackley Bay squad and the Dutchman. And with a lot of important talks happening in Red Bull during the summer break, could this be one of the talking points that the team will focus on after Verstappen's latest statement? It's safe to say that Mercedes are back on track, as the team won its third race of the season, even though they were stripped of a 1-2 finish that would have seen them dangerously close to the top three teams in the Constructors' Championship. Nevertheless, scoring this result after starting P3 and P6 on the grid, on a track that Red Bull dominates during the current regulation era, is a massive statement from Mercedes, and it's something that they have worked on for quite some time now in order to convince Verstappen that they have the right machinery for him to continue the championship winning streak outside of Red Bull. Despite the driver's category not being as interesting as the constructors' one, with Verstappen having a 78-point lead over Norris, Ever since Miami, the Austrian team has had to battle extremely hard in order to keep this lead the way that it is. And they've mostly done so thanks to the blunders of McLaren as well as their good strategy calls in Canada and Silverstone. But when these two do not go their way, which was the case in Hungary and in Spa, Verstappen finished fifth, which is far from enough to keep the championship safe if the season was in its earlier stages. Even Lewis Hamilton feels like what Mercedes is doing right now is definitely something worth praising. And while he inherited the 105th win in his career, something that you don't want to do off the track, he's taking this weekend as a massive positive towards the remainder of the 2024 season. 11 races are definitely more than enough to make a statement in the Constructors' Championship, and even though Hamilton is adamant that the shot in the Drivers' Championship is not in reach, if he keeps this steady form, he can make a lot of noise in the top three drivers on the grid if McLaren continues with their underperforming strategies. Elaborating on the result of Spa as well as Mercedes's future, Hamilton's comments are definitely something that Verstappen would like to hear if he's to change scenery in his career. As the seven-time world champion said, I feel for George, and you don't want to win a race through a disqualification, but we've been back in the fight for victories in the past few races. It is incredibly competitive now, so we will need to work hard to battle for wins more consistently. Nevertheless, we can get into the summer break with momentum and positivity. From this point of view and seeing where Ferrari ended up with their mid-season development, you might even make the argument that Hamilton is the one regretting the move to the Maranello team. But that is, of course, something we cannot go deeper into, given the fact that it's a done deal and we have no idea how the Singaporean upgrades will work for the Italian squad, as they're quite hopeful that they would bring them back on the right track. Be that as it may, the spark of hope that James Allison has brought back within the team is remarkable and the progress is way too noticeable because for you to win on a track that you expected to barely fight for podiums, again on pure race pace and strategy, goes to show that the trend from here on can be up and not down, like in the previous situations that Mercedes have found themselves in. When you have the CEO of Mercedes publicly lobbying for his Verstappen move, there's nothing more that you could say in order to express the wish that the Silver Arrows have when it comes to having Verstappen on board. And while this would interfere with their wishes of bringing Antonelli too, it has been reported that Russell could be seeking a future elsewhere because of the unique opportunity that Mercedes has to pair up Antonelli, who is labelled to be the next Verstappen and Verstappen himself. Unfortunately, three doesn't go into two, which is why Russell has reportedly started talks with Audi as the next big project in his career which makes a little bit of sense considering the fact that the leadership status in Mercedes was more or less given to him thanks to Lewis's departure and not by straight up outperforming him on track. And when you combine the poor results of Red Bull in the past couple of races, as they couldn't count on Verstappen factor to win one of the last four races, you would understand why Mercedes has such a great wish of signing the three-time world champion. This is why Verstappen might be looking for a change of scenery and the remainder of the calendar with 11 venues left is looking more and more promising for race wins for other teams other than Red Bull. With Wolf still keeping the seat of Hamilton open, the Austrian admitted that he would want to wait and see what would happen in Red Bull before he makes the final decision. Even though Wolf admitted that the first choice right now is Antonelli, he didn't forget to say that the seat is always open for Verstappen if he's willing to take it. 
and when talking about this matter to a greater extent, Wolf said, We're not rushing. We want to wait and make the right decision. Kimi has enormous potential. His speed and talent are already at a certain level. He just lacks the experience. An alternative scenario is, of course, for Stappen. But at the moment, that doesn't seem realistic to me. Other drivers would sign on a one- or two-year contract, which is not enough for us. There's something going on in Red Bull that has suddenly turned them into the second or third fastest team at certain events, and we must not forget that had it not been for the changing circumstances on the track, as well as the proper strategy calls in Silverstone, as well as Canada, the results of Verstappen wouldn't have even looked as they did. Nevertheless, even Marco said that the team cannot always hope on the Verstappen factor, as it seems like the team is now paying a lot more attention to other issues, such as the second driver, than fixing the car. I'm not saying that this isn't an important issue to fix, but if you're to see where Verstappen ended up, P5 from P11, which is a good recovery race considering that Norris finished P6, it's nowhere near where Red Bull were in the past couple of venues here. When Verstappen won from starting P14 and P6 in 2022 and 2023 respectively. Be that as it may, the three-time world champion has stressed how important it is for his team to work on the car rather than focusing on other issues. And when being asked about Perez's future in the team, one that's looking quite uncertain right now, Verstappen went on to say, No, Perez did not hold me in the race. He was driving his own race. We made the right choice in that, and it wouldn't have made much difference to me if he had pulled over earlier. Our first concern is the car. That is what we need to focus on at the moment. Checo's weekend was positive in my opinion. Starting from P2 and ending P8 is everything but positive. Even though you could argue that the strategy for the Mexican driver was quite questionable, and while Verstappen tried to defend his teammate, we cannot forget the fact that he lost around 5 seconds driving behind the DRS train that Perez provided for both Russell and Verstappen, hence the ability of Norris to catch up a lot quicker on the new tyres. Be that as it may, the situation in Red Bull is quickly getting out of hand, and now talks will take place as to who would be better choice to replace him, Liam Lawson, Ricardo, or even Sonoda as this is another question on which the high-profile people in Red Bull have different opinions. For example, if you were to ask Horner, the best choice would be Ricardo. But Marco is keener on promoting Sonoda and giving the vacant seat to Lawson, something that would be quite interesting to watch throughout the summer break. We've seen that there's a lot of talks between Ricardo, Mekis and Horner after the Belgian Grand Prix, and Ricardo left this chat with a huge smile on his face, which is likely to be the promoted smile that he has engraved on his face. Whether or not this would hurt Red Bull's chances of winning the Constructors' Championship, time will tell, but it's now evident that the comfort that they had in the past few years is gone, and this is likely the narrative that will continue in 2025 as well. Which means that Verstappen is very likely for a change of scenery amid all of the controversies, intra-team tension and scenarios that are going on behind closed curtains. With all of this in mind, do you think the Mercedes is now slowly but surely shaping up to be the next big project in Verstappen's career? And if so, do you think that the Silver Arrows would push towards a scenario in which the Dutchman would be paired up with Antonelli, creating a lineup that would absolutely shatter the Constructors' Championship? Let us know in the comments below, and once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.